plastic forms are a wonderful consideration for your concrete pours. Um, why would one choose to use the plastic forms over wood or timber forms? Well, I think the main consideration is the fact that they're reusable. Uh, also, I think that there's probably a cost savings in terms of labor because they're very quick. Uh, I'll show you how, how these forms fit together very quickly. Basically, you have little plastic dowels, and you'll see directly in the center of these little dowels, there's a screw. And what that screw does is it shows you how far to insert the dowel into the side of the form. So you don't want the screw sideways. Certainly, you don't want it up. What I like to do is just turn it down because then the screw head allows, allows you to uh, insert the dowel all the way. So this is how quick and easy they are for piecing them together. And then from here, that's two, pa two panels ready to go. From here, it has a, a very interesting cam lock series that uh, actually uh, help hold the, the plastic form to the stake. Now, you can go to the edge of the form and simply slide them in like this. They slide right in. Or you can actually, if you had a long run with the stakes out there, there is a way that you can actually position them right in that way. So once again, you can do it that way, okay? Now the way that the cam lock works, it's very simple. By loosening it, it'll drop the form, it'll allow me to raise it. So the way that we like to work this is if we have a pre-existing piece of concrete, or if we have an elevation, maybe it's on a house, you get uh, a benchmark elevation, uh, whatever it is you're pouring up against, I'll take a level or a transit or a builder's level and I'll transfer that elevation out to my stake and I'll drop the form giving it the sufficient amount of fall or slope and once I do that I'll mark my elevation right onto the stake and then I'll adjust it right to where I need to and simply tighten the cam lock. That's it. That's how fast and effective these forms can be. The way I like to use these forms is for free forming. So a lot of times we'll be out on a high-end landscape project where you want meandering sidewalks with radiuses and arcs. And it's a real effective way to simply come in here with orange marker paint and simply just lay out a nice arc or radius. And then what we'll do is we'll drive our, our stakes into the ground. Once again, we would uh, have to somehow come up with our elevations here. We would mark our stakes, making sure that we had the right elevation. This ground is compacted, so we've got to use the steel stake. Brad and I uh, will show you. We've pieced together roughly three pieces. We'll get our uh, cam system now. Put one there. Here. Okay, once again, we would have our elevations here, and it's this simple. Assuming we had the elevations pre-marked, come on over. Very quick, very effective, even on a tight radius. Look at this. That's how quick and effective these plastic forms can be for a nice arc and a nice radius. All right, we've laid out for roughly a four foot wide sidewalk. Once again, you have to take into consideration your elevations. So uh, assuming that uh, this was the higher side, probably a little lower than that, we would wanna make sure that our sidewalks shedded or sloped off properly. But this is how simple uh, these forms are in terms of doing these radiuses, as you can see here. Even fairly tight radiuses, as you see right here.
Now, one other good uh, option to consider, a lot of times what I'll do is I will cut what I, what I call a spreader. So whatever the width of your sidewalk is, uh, I'll cut, in this case, it would have been a four foot wide two by four to fit in between here. I'll nail some ears or some stakes right over the top of this, and it's real easy. So you have a, an ear holding here, and you simply pull this form here, drive the stake uh, flush right up against here so it pulls this in, and put your cam lock in and tighten it. So there's no nailing involved. Uh, it's a very effective, fast way of uh, forming, especially on these really elegant looking uh, radius sidewalks. The only thing left here is to put some more subgrade in here, make sure our subgrade's compacted, and uh, insert concrete.